It's time for another episode of What I Wore This Week. This week I have a fun mix of outfits for you guys. I have some colorful, bold looks, some color blocking in there and I can't wait to share. So welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here. My name is Ashley Park. This is Park Avenue and I have tons of fashion content. So if you love outfit ideas, unboxings, lifestyle content, you're in the right place. Check out some of my other videos and when you find something you like, be sure to subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell because I upload multiple times a week and I don't want you to miss a thing. Now before we jump into the outfits, I want I want to talk to you guys about something that I get a lot of questions on. You guys comment and ask me about my undergarments all the time, you know, what bras I recommend, what bra I'm wearing with any particular shirt or outfit that I had on, and I'm more than happy to share. You guys already know if you watch my channel that undergarments are the key to having a really great outfit. They help you feel good, they make you look good, and you just have to have really well-fitting undergarments. So I'm more than happy to share the kind of bras that I wear because I really love the bras that I do wear. So I'm really excited about today's video. I'm excited to say that this video is sponsored by Waco, and it's because Waco makes some of my favorite bras. My absolute favorite t-shirt bras, my favorite strapless bra, I've shared that with you guys many times on my channel, and so this is just the perfect partnership. Now let's jump into the bras. So the first bra I wanna share with you guys is this t-shirt bra. This is my favorite t-shirt bra of all time. <laughs> my absolute favorite and it's because it has a lot of really great factors and some cool features so not only does it feel good on the skin I love the way it feels when I wear it it's very comfortable I don't feel anything pinching or uh, riding up or being really uncomfortable it fits really well now this t-shirt bra is special because it's also smoothing I like the way it smooths out the sides and the back I know that uh, back smoothing is something of a concern for a lot of ladies even me and I really like that this has has a nice wide band and it has a really comfortable material that really just like smooths me out and I look really good in my t-shirts whether they're fitted or loose and I wear these under button-up shirts as well if I want a really smooth look I really love this bra and I recommend this one all the time I wear this t-shirt bra all the time I'm wearing it right now actually <laughs> I reach for it all the time and so I make sure to always have a few in black and a few in more of the nude color so that way I'm covered whether I'm wearing dark clothes or something lighter uh, you don't have to worry about it showing through at all. Next up, I wanna talk about the high standards underwire bra. I really love this bra. Now, I had not tried this bra before and I wish I would have known about it sooner or given it a try sooner because this is also one of my favorites now. I love the way that this bra fits. I love the way that it sits and I love the shape that it gives me. Now, I had mentioned a few videos back and you might remember that I talked about when I'm wearing something more voluminous on top, maybe something that's like boxy that adds volume to my chest area, I prefer to wear a bra that gives me a little bit less projection and this is exactly what I meant. I just love that it's just my natural shape in this bra. I don't feel like it's like lifting me up and out so much so that it adds to a voluminous top. So I really love this. This is exactly something that I needed and something that I was missing from my, um, you know, my undergarment wardrobe. And I really love this one. So I'm definitely gonna pick it up um, like a backup. That's what I always do with bras that I love. Um, when I find ones that fit me really well, I always get a few of them so I can keep them in rotation. And then of course, if they come in other colors, I pick those up as well. Now me personally, Personally, I tend to stick with like the nudes and the blacks just because um, they won't show under my clothing. If I'm wearing something dark or if I'm wearing something lighter, I wear like a nude shade. And so that way it doesn't show and I don't have an issue. But I do like to have, you know, a couple of colors as well in rotation. So I'm definitely going to pick this bra up in another color. Now, the next couple of bras that I want to share with you guys. First of all, this bra has a really beautiful pearl detail and I love pearls. So for me, that was like a really beautiful detail that was added to the bra. Now this is called the Evocative Edge. And it's a full coverage bra, which is really nice, but it's very dainty and it just is so comfortable to wear. And I love all those benefits about it. A really nice bra. I felt like it also smooths me out. I love the way it looks underneath my clothes and I just know that I'm gonna wear this a lot. And what I love about these kinds of bras is that when I wear button up shirts, if I want to, um, you know, make them a part of my outfit, you know what I mean? I'll just undo the top button and then it's a nice little lace detail or mesh detail or, you know, anything that the bra has, it peeks out just a little bit and I really like that. I also got to check out the Evocative Edge High Cut Panty, and these are really nice. If you love a matching set, then you can go ahead and get you a really cute matching set, and you can get different colors, and you could also mix and match, you know, to keep it fun. 
Next up, I have the Retro Chic Full Figure Underwire Bra. And the name fits the bra perfectly because when I put it on, I felt like it was very retro and it gave me a retro silhouette, but it was still perfect to wear under my clothes and it just looked gorgeous. I love the lace detail and again, a really pretty bra that is functional and I felt comfortable in it and I could wear it under my clothes and not have to worry about anything. I felt held in, put together. It wasn't uncomfortable and it didn't ride up or pinch or dig into my shoulders or anything like that. This is a really good bra. Next up, here's the last bra that I have for you guys, but definitely not the least. This is a sports bra and I really love this one. Now, traditional sports bras do not work for me. I don't like the way that they sit. I don't like the, that there's no like separation and it's just uncomfortable. It doesn't hold me in. I don't feel secure and I'm always like moving around and I have to adjust and readjust and like keep an eye on things, which is distracting obviously when you're trying to work out. So what I love about this is that it has the cups which is great because it gives you that separation, it gives you that lift, and this bra holds you in. This is really good for high impact activities. You're not gonna be moving around and feeling uncomfortable and being distracted. This is really good. But what's also a cool feature about this bra is that the adjustable straps actually have notches to be able to adjust the strap. It's not like your traditional uh, t-shirt bra or your everyday bra that you would wear where you would you know, toggle the little piece down and then pull on it so that you can secure it, tighten it, or loosen it. This one, you actually have to loop it into the actual notches, which is great. It just adds to the security of everything. So that way, you know, it doesn't like loosen up while you're jogging or running or being really active. Once you set it to the notch that you like, it's not going anywhere. So a really well-fitting bra, but it's also comfortable. So you're not gonna have to worry about being uncomfortable while you're being active. Waco offers sizes A through I cup, and you can actually shop the website based on what you're looking for. So whatever your needs are, you can shop that way to find the best bra solution for you. And if you have any questions about what size you are, you just don't know what bra size to look for, then you can download their My Bra Fit app, which is very consistent with um, other measurements that I have done to, to check my bra size. I actually did the My Bra Fit app and the size that they gave me lined up with when I did manual measurements. So it was perfect and it was really easy to use. So you guys can definitely check it out as well. And I will have all the bras linked in the description box for you guys to check out. And I'll link to some others that I didn't share here, but I also have in my undergarment wardrobe that I think you guys will wanna check out as well. So be sure to check the description box for links to all the pieces that I shared today. Now jumping into the first outfit, this is perfect for if you work in a dress, a casual environment, maybe you work in a more creative environment, this is something that could work for you. If not, you can definitely tweak any of these looks to make it work for your work life, um, something you can wear on the weekend. This is a really cute brunch outfit. The blazer that I'm wearing is a beautiful cream shade and it's more of a boxy style, a boyfriend kind of feeling blazer and I really like the way that looks paired with a more fitted top underneath. And I decided to go with something in the mocha color family because I'm wearing a more like brown and cream shoes, which is really nice. The jeans that I'm wearing are loose fitting boyfriend style. They have a little bit of distressing. I really love this. You could also swap out jeans and throw on a pair of shorts. That would also be really cute depending on where you're gonna be wearing this outfit. And for the shoes, I decided to go with something a little bit chunkier. Platforms are really in right now. And luckily I had these for a while, but this is a shoe that's really fun, perfect for right now. And as we're getting into the summertime, overall a really fun look and definitely something that I would wear to brunch or for drinks or something like that. And for my bag, I went with a gold metallic. I love adding golds and metallics just like in general to any of my outfits. And gold is my favorite, of course, it's my preferred. But you can do any neutral color. So if you had maybe something in the tan family a cream color bag that would look really good and if you're more of a silver kind of a girl you can just switch out everything as far as the tones and lean to more of like the cool shades the cool browns and then you can throw in like a silver like a metallic silver or a pewter or something like that and that would also look really good Next up, this is perfect for the girls who love to color block. The blazer that I'm wearing is a beautiful pop of orange. It's double breasted. Blazers are really good for any look. If you wanna like pull it together, tie it in, they're outfit finishers. They just add that little bit of polish to your look, even if it's something really casual. And that's what's really good about a blazer is that you can wear it just very, very casually or you can dress it up very, very elegantly. So it fits everything, professional. It's everything in between and it's everything on every opposite end of the spectrum so I love a blazer and this one is a really nice color pop and then underneath I'm wearing a layering piece that I love now this one is more fitted as well so that's why I love to wear them under my blazers and this is in a really pretty shade of pink 
and that color pink looks really good with orange. I love pink and orange. That is just a really great color pairing. And if you're not sure which colors go together, you can always bet that pink and orange is going to look great. And so I threw on a pair of cream shorts because I wanted, you know, to stick to just the pink and the orange and the color blocking here. But if you want to have fun with colors, you can add a blue denim. That also would look really great here. It doesn't have to be cream, but a blue denim is also a part of the whole color blocking. That would look really good. But these have a little bit of distressing around the hemline, and it just looks really good with this. And so I decided to pair it with a cream bag just because it played nicely off of it, and I really wanted to just really stick to playing up that orange and that pink. So I threw on a pair of strappy sandals that are also in that pink family, and it just all worked so well together. I love this look. A lot of fun, and this is something that's really good for right now. I mean, color, color, color is what everyone's talking about. And so you want to have a lot of fun, um, you know, adding that to your wardrobe. If it's not something that you usually do have fun with it stick to maybe just two colors and play around with it this is a very simple look but it's definitely high impact and the colors just make it everything here's the next look and the top that i'm wearing is definitely giving me more like safari style i really love that kind of a vibe the color i love anything olive and so just because it's warming up and it's getting to be spring and summer don't forget about this shade it still looks really really good and I love that this has a peplum style because then you can add a little bit of attention to your waist and it just looks really good, very flattering. And I just threw on a pair of shorts. These are a trouser style. So you can definitely dress these shorts up or dress them down. They are a really great piece to have in your wardrobe just because you can get so many looks out of them. I wear these so often and it's like I can reinvent them every time because they just pair really nicely with so many things. So. Definitely get a pair of these in your collection because you will be able to wear them to a lot of things, especially if you have events, but you also want to wear them really casually. They just look really good with almost everything. So you can have a lot of fun with these. And then for shoes, I threw on my new sandals. I love these, you guys. I love that they have that patent leather finish. It's my favorite. I just love that sheen. It just adds something extra to any outfit. Really good. And these are really comfortable. And I know I had got a question in the past about um, like hill heights and what I feel comfortable with in and I don't really like too high of a hill these are 95 millimeters which is about like 3.75 and around that range is where I'm the most comfortable so anything higher than that then it just really depends on the construction of the shoe I have to try it on now of course a platform I'm good with that because the platform is comfortable to wear so um, that's usually a go but as far as like a stiletto heel I'm comfortable around the 3.75 inch mark and that's usually pretty good for me so anything there or lower I can do and for a bag, I just threw on a black bag with some gold chain detail, and I really loved it. But I love the pieces of this outfit so much, the top and these shorts, that I wanted to give you guys a bonus option, a bonus outfit. If you wanted to see how you could really just change something up and make it a little bit more casual, and that speaks to what I was talking about earlier in terms of these shorts, like having a trouser style short and how you can dress them up and dress them down. So the first look that I showed you was really a little bit more um, elevated in terms of being dressier, but you can definitely make this outfit a little bit more casual. Still elevated, but more casual. So I just threw on a pair of sandals. These have a pony haired uh, zebra print. I really love these. I've been wearing these a lot, you guys, but they definitely add something extra to an outfit while keeping it very casual. And then for a handbag, I decided to go with my tote. And I really love the elements of this outfit. I love how everything works together. It's definitely an elevated casual look. So you can feel put together and look good and be very, very comfortable. Next up, this look that I want to show you guys is giving very much vacation. I'm out of office, but I really never left Atlanta. <laughs> I really like this and it's pretty warm here where I live so this is something that's totally appropriate but if it's not exactly warm where you live I can understand you might want to swap out the shorts and throw in a pair of jeans or a pair of um, like wide leg pants that would look really cute as well so let's start from the top this black shirt that I'm wearing is linen a very easy breezy material I've talked to you guys about linen many times and it's just a staple you have to have a really good linen shirt and then underneath, I'm wearing a layering piece. This is a crop top, feels really good, and I love the way it layers underneath that linen shirt. And then I throw on a pair of linen shorts. These shorts in particular have a little bit of like a scallop detail. Really pretty, and it adds an extra element to the outfit because this is all black. I do love to have little details that add a little something special. And then for slides, I threw on a pair of my patent leather slides. I really love that it adds an extra element to this outfit. Again, because it is all black, it's nice to have extra little details to keep the outfit visually interesting because things can get lost you know if it's all black so it's nice to have a little bit of texture some shine I really like that and then for a bag I just threw on 
this clutch. This is more like a crochet style knitted bag. Very like uh, shapeless and easy. You just throw it under your arm and go. I really love how easy this is. This look is very chic and fabulous, but very easy and so comfortable. So this is a really good look, whether you're just, you know, hanging around town, running your errands, or if you're going on vacation and you want to take something really cute, but not have to think too much about it, this is a really good look. Now here is the last look that I wanna share with you guys. And starting with this off the shoulder top, I really love anything off the shoulder, so flattering and so fun. And I love the color here. This is perfect for the spring and summer, a really nice pop of color. And under this off the shoulder top, I'm wearing my favorite strapless bra by Wacol as well. And this is their red carpet strapless bra. I absolutely love this one. I have this one in black and I also have the nude shade and I have a few of them because I don't wanna be without them. They really support you and this goes up to an eye cup so definitely check it out and try it on i recommend this bra to you guys all the time but in case you missed it i will link it in the description box and with this look i threw on a pair of high waist jeans because this top is peplum style with a little bit of like a ruffle hem it looks really good with a pair of high waist jeans i decided to go with something classic no distressing and it fits really well and then i threw on a pair of my platform slides Nice and chunky, I love the way this paired with it. And I wanted to keep my other accessories neutral, so I just threw on a neutral colored handbag, which worked really well here with a little bit of like gold hardware. And of course my favorite, the gold accessories. So I love the way this turned out, very comfortable. This is something you can definitely wear on the weekend and go out for lunch or run your errands in this because these shoes are really comfortable to wear. And that's it you guys, those are my picks for this week's outfits. Let me know in the comments which look is your favorite and which looks you're gonna be recreating. A huge thanks to Wacol for sponsoring today's video. If you guys enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you made it this far and you haven't subscribed already, what are you waiting for? I really would love to have you. If you guys wanna check me out on some of my other socials, I will have my Instagram and Pinterest and everywhere else you can find me listed in the description box as well. And don't forget to thumbs up the video if you enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you in the next video. Bye. Oh.